I can't look at this university the same way anymore without remembering the kind of fear that I had to live in that if anything came out about me using a plant to be a functional human being was going to expel me from this campus and ruin my college career. What does that say about our system? What does that say about our university? What does that say about our policy, our laws? Unfortunately, there's a lot of people out there and a lot of young people who want to go to universities here who are basically being told you can't treat yourself because we don't want to lose, we don't want to risk losing that money. We're hoping within the next year that, um, that recreational, commercial recreational will roll out in Washington, D.C. And the school has made an adamant point about uh, spreading the information that it's decriminalized in Washington, D.C. No, it is le recreational is legalized in Washington, D.C. You can grow it, you can consume it, you can give it to people, but you can't buy it or sell it. But hopefully that's going to change in the next year or so. I say the best thing that we can do is, um, is make the public more aware of these things, but not just aware, as I say, to make change, to actually go out of our way to try and show them, look, this is the research that's here. These are the things that are happening. These are the people being treated. You can't deny this anymore. You can't turn a blind eye to it because soon enough, organizations and institutions like American University are going to have to deal with the fact that you have people like me who need this to function.